guys, it's Kimberly at Fat Quarter Shop. It's December 1st. Sorry, Jordan just told me a joke and I'm trying to get it. Okay, so we're going to be sewing today. We're going to do Petty Four. We're doing this a week early, just so you guys know, just to work with our scheduling. So it's better to be ahead than behind. So we're going to do a tutorial of foundation paper piecing. We have 14 quilts to show you. We have sales stuff. We have an Ironmatic giveaway, which is... Um, a really big giveaway with some new ironing boards. I'm gonna show you some crochet that I've been working on behind the scenes just for fun. None of it, none of it's for work, but um, super, super, super excited to show you. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna jump right in first and do the sew, do the um, sew along. So uh, in October, we made our courthouse step blocks. And then in November, we made our economy blocks. And today we're gonna work on our log cabin blocks and then the pineapple snail trail and sparkle are gonna be in 2024 and we do have a four inch set of all of these and the great thing about it is you'll have a lot left over now we're using the four inch size if you want information on um, is it the six inch size <laughs> there's a six there's some information if you want to do the six inch size I love the four inch size because you can get these really nice um, accurate results. So we're going to be making 12 blocks and those blocks are going to go on the corners. So we'll be working with these right here. And hopefully today I will not make cutting mistakes like I did last time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull six pages out. Now a tip for you, if you pull out pages in the back or the front, it's going to fall apart. So like I would pull three pages from here and then maybe three pages from here. And then your pad's not gonna fall apart as easily. And the first thing I do is, with any foundation paper, is I put a crease on the straight lines. So I do that all the way across. Can you show the comments real quick? Okay, so here, I did forget to show you guys what we're working on, if you didn't know, and it's the Petty Four. It's gonna finish at 32 inches, and I'm using Blueberry Delight by Bunny Hill Designs. Okay, so I'll just pull one paper off. And then, these are the 12 fabrics. Uh, Denise has already pulled them for me that we are using. And in any of our It's So In My Foundation paper pads, if you flip the cover back right here, it tells you what to cut. So what I wanna do, oh, I'll give you a piggy update. Maybe, let me do that at the end so I don't get upset. I'll give you a piggy update at the end if somebody writes that on the script so I don't forget. Okay, so I'm not gonna cut everything, but I'm gonna cut, I'll cut five at a time. Now what I did wanna point out this fabric right here is directional and I will probably, I won't want my stripes to go this way because if they're not straight, they're going to look funny. So I'm going to want them to go this way, but I'm going to have to do like these that way and then these three will have to go the other way. So I'm not going to cut that one. I'm going to just cut that as you go just because I want that one to come out correctly. Okay, and I've just lined up the edge, and I'm gonna need one and a quarter inch strips, and I'm gonna need three of them because I calculated that already. So I'm just gonna cut the edge off just to make it easy, and then one and a quarter. One and a quarter. And just, if you're working with a directional print, I would do that, you know, one at a time. Or like um, another print that I have to show you is this gingham. I will cut that individually so that it's not funny looking. Another thing you could do, if you don't wanna have to worry about it lining up exactly, you could cut this on the diagonal and it'll look better because it'll be on the bias. So that's something I might do, just as a hint. And then I'll save all this. 
and then I'm just going to cut them down into what it says. And this time I did check to make sure I'm cutting the right ones. The light and the dark match this time. So I need a one and a quarter inch square. And I'll just put that on my design board. Two and a quarter inch rectangle. And these don't have to be exact because they're paper piece. So you're gonna see that I'm not cutting exact. Two and three quarters. And then that's three and a half. So I could probably make that work for some of them, but not all of them. And then I'm gonna cut a big one, a five and a quarter, so that I have used the most. So I've used the three and a half, the five and a quarter, and that way this next one, I'll be able to cut the two that are left, which is four and four and three quarters. And then I just like to keep them on the board in order. And one thing that I have found with this sew along is I do like maybe two blocks at a time. I don't do all 12 at the time. It's just too complicated. So I do 12 at a time. So we'll probably just do this top fabric and now I'm going to cut my background. So I am going to, I'm going to go iron this a little bit. iron is hot today. So from here, I'm just going to cut one and a quarter inch strips. And I don't know how many I need, but I probably need a bunch. So one and a quarter plus one and a quarter is two and a half. So I'll cut two and a half, one and a quarter. And I've got it folded where the salvage is up here. So I have four layers, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I'm just cutting one and a quarter inch strips. And like I said, it's paper, foundation paper piecing, so it doesn't have to be exact. So you guys can comment and let me know where you're watching from. That'd be totally fine. I'll read off where you guys are watching from while I cut. So I'm going to need 12 one and a quarter inch squares. So four times three. So I'll need three cuts. So there's four layers. So I'll cut. Hopefully this is right. And then one thing that I do, because I'm using a big tree fabric and it's got like a little eyelet on it and I don't want to have to worry when I'm doing my blocks if my right side is up so I do this I make them all right side up at the same time so we've got Texas Sisters Oregon Sanford Florida Southside Virginia Jacksonville Florida Tallahassee Florida Australia, Alaska. Okay, the next one is two and a quarter, and I'm gonna need to do that three times. And then this is probably too small, so I'm not gonna use that. Island, New Grand Island, New York, Southeast Michigan. And then I'll just put these right side up. Ohio, one of my um, daughter's friends is going to Ohio State and she loves it. She came home for Christmas. She was like, hi, Miss Jolly. I feel so old. Okay, and then we've got two and three quarters, three times. 
Met you at CrimeCon, Laura Sherman, yay! Have you signed up for the next one? I signed up for the cruise, but I haven't signed up for the next one. It's so expensive. I really go on a cruise. So I don't know if I'm gonna go to the next one or not. Let's see. Do you use grippers of some sort on the back of your ruler so it won't slip? No, Creative Grids has these little grip dots. You can feel them and it just kind of grips. But I also, one thing that I do that probably is not great is I really push hard and sometimes my shoulders will hurt or my back because I'm like literally like putting all of my weight on there, which I probably should not be doing. And then we've got three and a half. Three and a half. Central Illinois, New Jersey, Arizona. Let's see. How many, let's do a poll and see how many of you are sewing along with the Petty Four. I hope it's a lot of you because this quilt is gonna be so cute. I think it's gonna look good on the, um, like it's a table topper. Okay, I'm gonna cut some big ones now, just to get those out of the way. There's five and a quarter, and then I'll do a smaller one, four inches, or four and three quarters. So I'll do four inches. Do the same thing here. I only need one though for this, so five and a quarter. And I am cutting all 12 at one time just to make it go easier, I guess. Then I don't have to do it when I get home. Put them right side up. Do y'all have any tips on working with paper? Blue fabrics are my weakness, yes. Blue and red. I have so many quilts though. I was decorating for Christmas and I was like, okay, I don't think I need to ever make another Christmas quilt. I don't need to have, a, oh, and then this one, I didn't cut the edge. What is the name and size of my cutting mat? So I'm using a Creative Grids cutting mat. I'm not really picky about cutting mats. I usually use Creative Grids or Lori Holtz. I usually use Lori Holtz just because it's cute, but the size is 24 by 36. And at home, I think I have a wider one. I don't know exactly what I have at home. Okay, so now I need 4.75. Ooh, and I got lucky because look, I cut almost exactly what I needed. I only need one more strip. Almost done with a six inch and it will be a rainbow. Oh, that'll be really pretty, Deb. I'm far behind, so, ma so many projects underway. Yeah, I feel that. Okay, this one right here, I'll show you in a second. This one too. Those two have salvages on them. So I don't wanna accidentally get that in my, cause the salvage is pretty wide right there. I don't wanna get that in my quilt. So I'll just cut two more. And then I have these two little strips left over. I'm just gonna put them on the side in case I need them because you know, you never know. And then from here, I'm gonna show you how I start. Um, so you start, and when you're working with foundation paper piecing, you want to go in the order of the number. So you just kind of go around and around and around. So I'm going to start with number one, and number one is dark. And it's your square. And since I've cut them in order, all you have to do is just follow this. It should work, and I don't have to um, go back. But if you want to, it tells you the placement number. So for number one, I'm going to put... 
a little bit of glue. I actually ran out of glue recently at home. And you're gonna put one fabric here. Make sure it doesn't move. And then I'm gonna crease between the one and the two before. Kimberly, you convinced me, and now I like using foundation paper. Yeah, it's like magic. Okay, what did the other lady say about Crime Con? She said, she said she's gonna go, I think. I'm going, excited to spend the weekend in Nashville, going to party in my cowboy boots in the evening. You and Priscilla can join me and my sister. Oh, I don't know about partying. I'm pretty, pretty tame. Okay, so then I'm gonna put the one here and the two here. And you can just kind of see and the, make sure it's right side together. And then I'm gonna stitch. Now what I do that's different than most people is you can stitch from the line to the line, but I always just, that's just not right. So I just start way out here and go way out here. So I go a quarter inch before and after so that I don't have to worry about um, that. Now I am using a open toe foot and I have put my stitch length to like a 1.5 and I am using super small stitch length and then I'm gonna press. And you just press whichever way the fabric goes. And basically I talk to myself when I do this, like, okay, I did one, two, now I need to do three, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna put the crease between the one and the two and the three. And I love the add a quarter ruler because it and then, so three is clear, so I need to go up here and pull this. So then I put this right side together. And I just hold it in place, and then I'm going to stitch on that line between the, here. And then just press and you're not supposed to use steam so I try not to so I just did three now I need to do four so you just keep adding and you just go and it's easy that's why I don't want to do a bunch at one time because if you do then I feel like you'll um, you'll um, start putting like this one with this one and we're going to talk about irons in a little bit i have been using the laura star iron today i we're doing a giveaway with the iron matic so that's why we're showing that today We did four, now I need to do five, and I do talk to myself. It's okay, I do have a kid that talks to himself though, and I'm like, um, I told him I was like, you're kinda at the age now where you need to stop. People are gonna start making fun of you. Okay, so on the five. Okay, so now we need to do six. And it'll probably take me, I don't know, maybe three hours to do all of these. But I love doing it, it's very therapeutic. I don't have a therapist, I just have quilting. That's what my shirt should say. Okay, six. And I would say 
the most important thing when you're working with foundation paper is make sure you're doing right sides together because if you have to undo this, it becomes kind of a nightmare to unstitch. Um, I don't backstitch because I start a quarter inch out, so I don't backstitch. Oh, someone said the iron scares their dog. Yeah, my dog refuses to go in my sewing room now. He's decided that he does not like my iron or my sewing machine is too loud, so he will not go in there with me anymore. He will only sit in the living room. So I'm just making sure I've got right sides together. And this is my cardio for the day. So seven. And for your stitch length, whatever your normal stitch length is, just go down about two stitches, is what I would say. So we did seven, now we're gonna do eight. So you can see how I have it arranged. Now here, I just, I don't want that crease to be there, so I am going to press that again. need to pay attention to my little pressing. I keep pressing that wrong. Okay. Now we're on nine from Illinois. I thought that said Italy. I was like, oh my goodness, but it's Illinois. Okay. And so you just keep building. And then what, one thing I forgot to say is here, you just want to make sure you've covered both ends and if you turn it around you know you're making sure we made you cut it so that there's enough on each end so that it's not um you just want to make sure you cover that full thing And I'm using a Juki sewing machine, TL2010-Q. I have the same one at home, except it's the Platinum Edition. That's a good question. How many blocks can I get from a honey bun? Uh, 42 divided by three, whatever that is. No, no. I'll tell you in a minute. How about, how about I finish and then I'll tell you. Don't let me forget, Denise, please. 10. right sides together okay you're not supposed to use seam it's hard for me not to but you're not supposed to with paper because it shrinks the paper but sometimes I do Okay, 11. What chair do I sew in at work and home? I need a new one. So at work, I use the arrow chair. It's really nice and stiff, but it doesn't have a high back. The ones I use at home are probably 12 or 13 years old, so, um, and I think they're discontinued.
Okay, so the point of using the paper is so that you get really accurate blocks and you can see I, I have not had to worry about seam allowance. I have not had to worry about making anything exact. I haven't had to have anything to do with pinning. And it, you're gonna see how accurate it comes out. Okay, so here, it's going to be fine, but I my paper kind of pulled down a little bit, but it'll be totally fine. I use a size 90 needle, but I use that on everything, even regular piecing. I used to use a size 80 needle, and my thread just kept breaking, so, and I, I change my needle about every six to eight hours, so at least once a week, once or twice a week. And then I've got my last one. Okay, so now you can see how pretty that is. It's perfect, that didn't take very long. And what I wanna do is turn it to the wrong side and you can see these outside lines right here and it says trim on this line, do not trim on this line. So these should be four inches, four and a half unfinished. So what I'm gonna do is put that there, put my four and a half inch Creative Grids ruler on top and then just cut around. My Juki I like because it's fast and it has the thread cutter on the foot. To me, all I care about with a machine is that it can do an accurate quarter inch foot and that it can sew really fast. Okay, so there you go, exactly four and a half inches. Now I'm gonna show you some tips on pulling the paper off, but first I'm gonna cut some threads. Kinda drives me crazy when I have these little, I'll cut off any loose threads I see. Okay, and then I go in or backwards, so 13, 12, 11, 10, it's easier to go from the outside to the inside, so you're basically doing exactly reverse of what you just did. And if you did, if you're pulling and your threads are coming out, your seam allowance is too long. And then from here, I'll cut off any threads I see. And then, I'm gonna go to my ironing station. I'm gonna iron it with steam. Nice and get it really hot. And put clappers on it and it'll make it nice and flat. So I will take this home and I will finish all 12 and then on January 4th, we will work on pineapple blocks. Pineapple blocks are probably the harder ones because there is some bias. And so we'll talk about bias and you would never, for sure, never be able to get an accurate pineapple block without this paper because when you're working on the bias and you stitch it down on paper, it makes it more secure. So there's that. I'm gonna answer Oh, honey buns. Okay. Now, this is only for the prints, not for the solids. Okay. 
you can get about 70. So I would say to be conservative, 60. That's a guess. Okay, a while back I purchased the Neighborhood Hometown Quilt Seeds Kits and wonder if you're doing a quilt along. Okay, I'm not, but we are gonna be putting that together and probably show it like in March. We're not gonna do a sew along with that, but um, Lori might be. The November Fat Quarter Shop box is the best I've received in years. Oh, thank you, we're gonna show that in a little bit. There will be a Stronger Together quilt pattern for 2024 and we will be showing that in the beginning of 2024. I think I'll quilt all day. Oh, okay. So I did want to show you this. We just got this in this week. So for our Make-A-Wish charity, next year it's going to be called Moonbeams, and we got our samples. So what happens is we have these made, everything's made at different places, and we approve prototypes. So this is the box, and this is the kit. You get a ton of fabric. And the pattern will also go in there. So you'll get the pattern, if you buy the kit, you'll get the pattern ahead of time so you can make the whole thing. And just so you know, we only have a limited number left. The last two years we have overbought and have not sold out of our kit. So this year we bought less and now we're probably gonna sell out this year. That's kind of how it works. I try to base on previous years and um, what sells. So this is how your kit is going to look. And what's great about it is it's nice and big and you can store your blocks or your fabric in here. And then this is the backing set. And the backing set's really cute because it's got this um, hexagon print that's gonna go at the top and the bottom. And then you've got a, and you can find a picture of it online. And it's got a backing that kind of goes across with some stars, so really cute. One thing I forgot to mention is this background is exclusive to Fat Quarter Shop. So we had we we had this made just for Fat Quarter Shop so that our quilt would be very different and we will have some yardage of it, but we will be the only store that has it. And this is the Strawberry Lemonade Collection, which I sewed something with yesterday and it was super exciting. Now this program starts in March, 2024, ships in February, 2024 and um, Sherry and Chelsea will be probably sewing along with us. Now, I wanted to show you all of our monthly specials. So this, this month for December, we have 20% off Art Gallery Pure Solids. So this is just a selection of the bundles we have. And Pure Solids are, they're a tighter weave than other solids so they are more expensive and the reason they're more expensive is they have a tighter weave and they're a little bit thicker than most solids so 20 percent off solids pure solids from art gallery let me clarify so art gallery pure solids and then all of our needle minders are 30 percent off so those include all of our needle minders all of flamingo toes needle minders everybody's needle minders our cake mix book, volume one, is 30% off. And this is, um, once this is out of print, we're not going to make any more. But I kind of wanted to show you some of the quilts. So I'm just going to flip through so you can see the variety of quilts. And they're all named after desserts. Gosh, imagine that. And Zin Chic patterns are 30% off both paper and PDF for the month of December 2023 at Fat Quarter Shop. And she has a lot of a variety of uh, designs. Most of her designs are very geometric, which is why I picked her patterns because I thought they paired well with the AGF Pure Solids. So, okay. You will be able to buy the blue yardage. Okay, 
So let's talk about the Ironmatic giveaway. So um, basically, we have a new vendor that we found recently, and it's a female um, owned company and they make different ironing boards and they're very fashion forward in terms of the fabric that is on them and the um, covers you can buy. So on the blog, the Jolly Jabber today, we have a whole uh, blog that talks about pressing tips and they're just the different tips that we talk about while we're um, doing the live stream, but you know, setting your seam, pressing to one side and we're doing a huge giveaway. It's over a thousand dollars for, cause lots of people are gonna win. And to enter that giveaway, you have to go to the Jolly Jabber. You have to answer some questions. And then we're gonna give away six Ironmatic products. So you fill out the survey, we're giving away some of the um, ironing board covers and some of the actual ironing boards, which are super expensive. So great giveaway. Now let's talk about what they are. So the first photo I'm gonna show you is Space Maker. That is the one that I'm using on the set and I wanted to show you on the right side, only on the space makers, there is a spot to either put your iron like it is, or if you're using a steam station, you can see what it looks like. The steam station does fit. Sorry, we have to zoom out. Sorry, Jordan. I was thinking it automatically went to it for some reason. Oh, just ignore the mess on the floor. So see the steam station fits right there. And then on the right, if you go back to that other photo, you can see you can put your phone, starch, a drink, and in the center part, um, I would put scissors because I'm always looking for scissors. So it's, um, it's the space maker is the one that's on the set. It's 16 and a half by 49. It's a large stable surface, perfect for pressing large quilts. Its unique features include a the caddy we talked about, a mountable hanger for storage, so you can hang it on a wall, and on the bottom of the um, ironing board, there's there's um, wheels, so you can wheel it around, so you don't have to ask your husband to do it. And then I'm gonna show you what colors those come in. So the Space Maker comes in the black collection in those three colorways. And then the Tropical Collection in those three colorways. And you can buy all of these, of course, at Fat Quarter Shop. And then the next size option they have is the Space Server, so it's a little bit smaller. And this is the Pagoda Collection. It only comes in the Pagoda Collection. It's only in these five colors. And um, this one is slightly, it's, the, it's slightly wider and slightly shorter. So it's, the first one was 16 and a half by 49. This one's 16 by 49 and a half. But this one doesn't have the caddy. So I like the space maker the best. And then there's a space saver that is much more compact, which would be great for a retreat. And it's just basic. It doesn't have the fashion forward um, covers or it's just very plain, but it does have that hook. So there are, um, so with all of those, all of them, the Space Maker, the Space Surfer, the Space Saver. I hope I said that right. You think I said that right? Okay, they're, the best thing about these and what sets this apart are two things. Well, three things. The wheels, it has seven height options. So a lot of people that I've sewn with at retreats do not stand up. They basically sew right here, turn around and iron like basically sew and iron, sew and iron. And so that will go up and down seven different layers. So you can make it six, sorry, six. I mean, six, seven, six, but it will go, um, it's set height. So if you're somebody who doesn't wanna have to get up and you want something that will move, but it's cute, that will work. And then it has the, each of the um, covers has seven layers. And if you go to the Ironmatic website, you can see the different way they do the layers with the batting and the fabric and the batting and how it will not burn through. So I just wanted to tell you about this, but I really wanted to tell you just because we're doing this giveaway, we really want you to enter. I hope one of you win. It's a big giveaway. And now you know we sell Ironmatic uh, ironing boards and ironing board covers on the website. Now the covers will fit any of them. 
So there are some different, uh, there's about six or seven colors that you can replace them with. So if you want to replace the mat, you can, and some of them come with two covers. Where is the Jolly Jabber? Oh, that's a great question. So if you just go to fatquartershop.com and look on there and hit blog, the Jolly Jabber is the name of our blog. And it was posted last night. And the name of what I just talked about is Ironmatic. I am gonna show you all the images again because I do want you to look at one thing. Okay, so on the Space Maker, now this would make a difference to me. I would pay attention to the color of the board and the color of the caddy. So the black collection has a black caddy. The tropical collection has colored caddies. The pagoda has white cat, white stations, no caddies, and then the other one is just plain. Yeah, okay, because that would make a difference to me. Um, and the, is the giveaway to us only? I don't, I don't know. The information's on the blog, but usually we don't limit it to us only. And then Michelle says she can tell I'm an accountant by how she uses the calculator. Yeah, I'm kind of that calculator. I started using Ernst and Young when I was the C, well, when I used to do all that. And um, Kevin makes fun of me every time I get it out. Do we sell crazy paper? We don't. My blocks regularly end up an eighth inch short on one corner when I use foundation paper. How can I correct this? You can correct that by using a square ruler to square it up instead of cutting directly on the line and then it will come out exact. Okay, so now I've shown you um, Petty 4. I've shown you our basically awesome new ironing boards and ironing board covers we sell. Now I'm gonna show you some uh, November Sew Sampler unboxing. I'm gonna show you, we have 14 kit, 14 quilts to show you, which is amazing. And I have some fun stuff to show you that I'm making for my kids. So for November, we came out with block number eight for press flowers, which is the quilt card you get inside. And this was um, basically when Jocelyn does these boxes, they're all themed. Everything is meant to go together. So Friends Forever is the theme. And it's because we use the Besties collection, which is by Tula Pink and it's about dogs. It's got about dogs, it's got dogs in it. It's got little puppies and it's got some gold metallic. Let me see, let me, let me see. And then we have this, we haven't tried something like this. They're wooden hangers. And so uh, we did this just to see if this is something that you guys might like, something different. We put in this really cool uh, thread by Mettler and it is really cute with the fabric. And I really think it'd be cute if you quilted the fabric quilted the quilt with it. I'm gonna show you the quilt quilted in a little bit and we use white thread, but this would look amazing. And then Clover Wonder Clips because you never know how much you need these. Now, let me tell you, I'm running out of these. You don't wanna know why? Because my kids use them as chip clips and cookie chips and cookie clips and they're all over my pantry. And then when they throw the cookies away, they throw this away. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get you. So I should have never showed them where my Clover Wonder Clips are. And then the pattern this time is called Balcony and I showed you the pressed flowers. The Jolly Box did, if you bought the Jolly Box, it did go out. It is just now starting to arrive to everyone. And do you think there's any of these boxes left over? Okay, so we do have some boxes left over. It's probably not very many. They, they usually don't last past the month. Now I did want to let you know on the back of this is a coupon. So if you're in that, don't forget to always look for your coupon. And here's the quilt. Okay. And I'm going to show you that thread. And I'm gonna show you a little trick. 
so what you can do, and it's going to be hard to tell from the camera. Can you zoom in, Sophie? Sorry. It's, you just can't see it. But what you do is just kind of lay your thread on here and see, does it blend in or does it stick out? And this would be great to quilt with. It would look so good because it would kind of be a little bit sparkly on the, the white, but then it would kind of blend in on the pink and it would just be like very neutral on the purple. And so that's something, anytime you're going to quilt something, even if you're gonna piece something, you can always take your thread and it's kind of like a thread toss. You could do that and then you just kind of lay it around and see how you think it's gonna look. Okay, so this next quilt, we're super proud of Kathy. So every year we don't, Fat Quarter Shop donates to Quilts of Valor and one of our longtime staffers, Kathy, she's worked for us probably 10 years. She does, if you're in a club, she ships your club orders, runs your credit cards, probably, you probably emailed her. She wanted to sew a quilt to honor her father for the years of his military service. So she got to pick what, you know, what she wanted to do. So she picked Liberty Artisan Batiks by Robert Kaufman, and then this free night and day quilt pattern. And she paired them together and she altered the pattern so that it would fit the Quilts of Valor, um, what do you call it, uh, size requirements. So she added one more row and one more down. And there is on the Jolly Jabber a blog that has a beautiful story of her dad. So you wanna check that out and maybe email Kathy and let her know how beautiful the quilt is. And we'll take a picture with her dad with it. And there is a piece block on the back. And Joanna Marsh quilted this for Kathy. So this is uh, the top of the quilt, the bottom of the quilt, and then she put four blocks and this. I think it looks great. And another thing you could do is you could do two vertically and you could flip these two to be two horizontally. You could do something like that. You could put all the darks in one side. There's so much possibilities with the night and day quilt and you guys really loved it. So we are um, designing another batik quilt for all of you who love the batiks and thank you to Kathy's father who served in the military. Okay, so this quilt is a brand new block of the month we're going to be offering at Fat Quarter Shop, and you might have seen it at Quilt Market on social media. And Heather Briggs is a brand new designer with Moda Fabrics, and her company name is called My So Quilty Life. And um, I'm showing you, this is her quilt. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about the quilt and we're offering it back quarter shop. Now we've already ordered the fabric. So once we sell out of this program, we're gonna sell out because we had to order this one a little bit earlier than normal. Um, but the, the block of the month includes the fabric for the quilt top, the binding and the pattern. It does not include the embroidery floss. It's a six month block of the month from April to September of 2024. And then on the My So Quilty Life website, starting in April, she's gonna host the quilt along. I haven't decided if I'm gonna sew along or not. It's gonna depend on if I have time in my schedule. She said this is advanced beginner. If you're comfortable with stitch and flip units, like these are corner squares, then you can make this. This is all traditional piecing. There is some hand embroidery. She will have a tutorial on that. The smallest unfinished piece is one inches square. So that can be pretty small. So that will determine if you think you can do it. There's no applique, no foundation paper piecing, no English paper piecing. Each block has lots of pieces though. Okay, so if you're somebody who doesn't, like I'm, I'm not gonna embroider guys, I'm just not. So if it was me and I was making this, I would just make this one big piece. 
and leave that out. Now this I looked at and this is, um, she put this on top of the fence. So I would just leave that off the fence. I'm just giving you options. I'm not trying to say I don't like her embroidery. It's beautiful. I just don't know how to do it. And I don't need to learn anything else. I'm done learning. I'm out. I'm out of learning capabilities, people. Um, I would just leave that as one. And then Ashley had a great idea here. So there's no way I would do this. Now, now I would put this in my quill if somebody did it for me. So let's be honest. Like, I think it's super cute. I would totally put it in my quill, but I'm not going to do it. So let, that's just the truth. But Ashley had a great idea because I was like, well, I don't know what I would do here. And so if you look here, I would just put another one of these. Like maybe put this, this one's up high, put this one over here and make it go down low. And then they offset kind of like this. And this has some Bella solids and this uses her brand new collection called Flower Girl. And I am using that fabric right now for some things. It's really beautiful. And our website uh, has, oh, she wrote on here, flower stand design made by Heather Briggs of My So Quilty Life, October 2023, quilted by Carolina Quilt Studio. And she has a beautiful binding. Do you think Sophie could look at how beautiful that binding is? It's machine. If I could do some quilting, some machine binding that perfect, I would do it. Look how nice it is. It's like perfect. And she used, uh, she, her thread is like the exact color. So you can't even tell it's machine binding. It's amazing. I wish I could do that. So if you want to sign up, it's called the Flower Stand Block of the Month. Huge thank you to Heather Briggs for letting us borrow the quilt. I'm, I just want to keep it. I want to take it home. It's so pretty. And then Moda sent us a lot of quilts to show also. So I have a ton of more quilts. That was like, this is just the beginning of the party, guys. So on this, all of the quilts I'm about to show you are in the future. So we borrow them in advance to take, so Katie can take photos for the website, and then we offer them in the future. So these are on the website now, but not available for purchase yet. And then I'll show the bottom. And then I'll put it on the table. Okay. Sorry, it's upside down. Okay, and then I, basically I'm gonna hold it for you and then read you the info so I don't get it wrong. This is going to be a boxed kit from Moda. It is called Botanical Remix Quilt using Strawberry Lemonade by Sherry and Chelsea. So this is the same collection as our charity quilt. Shipping in January, it's 68 by 81. The design is by Chelsea Stratton Designs, and you can click to be notified when it comes in. And if you don't know about Sherry and Chelsea, they have a wonderful YouTube channel called A Quilting Life, and it's Sherry, Chelsea, and the son. What's his name? Nick. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get it wrong, but I, I watched it this week. Anyway, he's really funny. So they have a great channel if you wanna watch it. And I did wanna show you, I love the idea of having three borders. And this one does use the white on white from the collection, but I think it's really nice. So this is Botanical Remix by Sherry and Chelsea. This is the Queen's Grove. The fabric is Antoinette by French General. And what I call this quilt is a cheater quilt. So these right here are panels. And this is just fabric. So this is not embroidered. So this is very, I would say, beginner, advanced beginner. All you have to be able to do is sew together squares, rectangles, and this looks like flying geese. Billy! Sorry. Oh my gosh. What did I say? Oh my gosh, Jordan. Sorry. I wasn't even close. He's getting married though. I know that. Okay. So this is a cheater quilt. This one is, um, you can click to be notified. The pattern is also by French General. Finishes at 60 by 75. And this one also will be shipping in January. 
and I'll show you the back. I don't, their backings are probably not the same ones we picked. I'm just showing you just so you can see. This next one is huge, so give us a second. This is gonna be the showstopper right here. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Okay, I love this one. So this is called Edelweiss Quilt. The fabric is Shoreline by Camille Ross Kelly. This is a Moda kit, also comes in a box. This collection ships in March. This one's pretty big, it's 74 by 74. And she also does uh, the machine binding. The pattern is called Edelweiss, it's by Thimble Blossom. And this one you click to be notified. And this is a um, print from the collection. I love this one just because it's got this dark background similar to our charity quilt where, you know, so many quilts lately have that white background, which is great, but it's great to have something with a totally different look. And then I'll show you, it's kind of like when you're looking at it, this is the center and then it, this is like each of the corners is like this. So it's like, flowers and the stems going all the way around. Okay, this one is a Moda kit. It's called Come Together Quilt. The fabric is Lydia's Lace by Betsy Chechen. It's a Moda kit that will ship in April. It's 58 by 74. You can click to be notified and the pattern is also by Betsy Chuchin. So this one is an 1800s reproduction and the quilting I really wanted to kind of point out, I love it, it's custom. So she, she has custom quilting here, within here, custom quilting in here and then look at the border. I love that quilting on the border because it really just kind of breaks it up. And I think that the straight lines really make your fabric pop on the outside. Okay, this one, okay, this one uh, Robin was working at, working on when I was at a retreat. It is called Red Little Posy Wreath Wall Hanging. The fabric is Winterly by Robin Pickens. It's a Moda kit that will ship in May, 2024. It's 32 inches square. The pattern is by Robin Pickens and it's, um, you just click to be notified. Now this one I would say is advanced because there's no applique, but these corner squares, they're a quarter inch. That is a quarter inch finish right there. I think you can zoom in on that. So if you can do a quarter inch corner square, okay, so see how it's, and the quilting I wanted to show you, look at that beautiful quilting, it's a wreath. And then this is really nice quilting too. Okay, it says Sarah Hutchiman made it, Kelly Trimble quilted it, so pretty. Okay, so there's you a Christmas quilt. Okay, I love this one. This is totally, I totally want to make this. I don't have time, but I love it. It's so different, so fun. And I use this fabric collection a lot when I was making scrap blocks. So this is kind of the look of, of quilts that I used to make. Um, when I first started quilting. And this is a Bella Solid. This is called Birmingham Special Quilt. And when you search that on the site, you have to scroll down for it to pop up. The fabric is 30s Playtime by Lindsay McRae. It's a Moda kit. It's beginner friendly. So these are just rail fence. You think that's the right word? Rail fence? I think these are rail fence blocks and they're just rotated. And if you see, this is a Bella Solid. That looks great. 
and I love the quilting on it. It's just very simple. But I love this one. Okay, so it is a Moda kit, ships in May 2024. It's 66 by 69. It would look great on a twin bed. This would be like a great quilt if you had like a bed and breakfast, since it's very like universal and I think it's great. 66 by 69, ships in May, pattern and fabric by Lindsay McRae and the backing's really pretty. I also think on a quilt like this, just putting a solid on the back would be really nice. Okay, so this is for everyone who likes modern. Okay, so this one is called Noir, I can't say that word, sorry quilt panel project. This is not a kit. This will be a completely free pattern on Moda's website in April 2024. It's 52 by 56. The Demoir Collection by Allie Kay ships in April. And what this is, is this is a panel right here. And then these are hourglass blocks rotated. So that's actually a lot easier than, than it looks. You could, um, if you wanted to change it up a little, you could use the four inch square in a square paper instead, just to make it go quicker. But that would, I probably wouldn't work because you have two different fabrics in here. And then an inner border and an outer border. And I wanna show you the back, but I wanna show you the front also. I just wanna show you what they did on the back. And Lisa was working on this one at the retreat I went to. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was Jordan's fault, not mine. Sorry. Okay, so on the back, there's a fabric here, a fabric here, and then another little fabric here. So it's a way to use up. Oh, Tammy made this one. Tammy Vonderschmidt made this. Quilted by Maggie Honeyman. Fabric Collection Noir. Really cute. So that's going to be a free pattern from Moda in April. We won't have a kit, but we will have all the yardage and obviously we'll have the panel. Okay, now this next one I'm gonna show you, these are going to be clubs at Fat Quarter Shop. So the only way to get them is to be in the club and this will be a January quilt if you're in the club. And I'll give you all the details in a second. So this is called Sugar Cubes. This is the Ruby Star Society Quarterly Club. So if you're in that club, it's not too late to sign up. This is what you will get in January. You will get the 12 fat quarters, one spool of thread, and all you have to do is add your background. The pattern is exclusive to the club. It's called Sugar Cubes. It's 65 by 75. Angel designed this, Angel pieced this, and Joanna Marsh quilted it. And these are ruby stars. So if you are in the club, this is what you will be making in January. And look how cute this is. Okay, so Angel took the salvage from one of the fabrics, and then she cross-stitched sugar cubes and uh, so that's cross-stitched on there. Okay, this is the January Club for Art Gallery Fabrics Club, Quarterly Club. The pattern is called Honeycomb. This is what you'll get in January. With the Art Gallery Club, you get 16 fat quarters from Art Gallery. You will need to order all your background to add to it, but these are the fabrics you will get. The pattern is exclusive to the club. This one finishes at 72 inches square. Designed by Angel, pieced by Carrie, 
and quilted by Sarah Campbell. And I love the quilting. Um, let me show you how I love crosshatch. This is an inch and three quarters, but in case you're wondering, really pretty, love it. Also made by Carrie is our solid club. So this is the final club for 2023. We're in 2023, right? So this is if you have been making this quilt, it's all done and quilted and pieced. So you can no longer get this because this, um, you can get the pattern, which is sandpiper, but each of these were different months. So this was probably February, March, and there is a layout on the Jolly Jabber of exactly what Carrie did. Oh, June, April, January. And each of these was a fat quarter club for the month. And you get, let me see how many you get. 12. You get 12 fat quarters a month. And this is an It's So Emma pattern. And so if you want to do something similar, you could always sign up for the fat quarter club and for 2024 make the same quilt it, obviously different fabrics different theme and this is Essex by Robert Kaufman E064-1164 and the cardinal which is this one right here this is shipping this today so if you haven't gotten your um solid club for December is because it hasn't shipped yet. So this is the very last month and thank you to Carrie for making it and quilted by Sarah Campbell. Okay. Okay, I wanna take a break real quick. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the front camera. Okay, so those were all kits for the future. So that was a block of the month, flower, what's it called? Flower stand. Flower stand. And those kits I just showed were Moda kits, and then the last three were clubs. After this, I'm gonna show you what's new, but I'm gonna answer questions first just to make sure I get everything and I'm gonna take a sip of tea. Kathy asked if there is enough fabric in the November box to starch, yes. Does FQS have plans to offer more of Kim Deal's brimming over quilt kit? It's showing out of stock. Um, I actually don't know. Could you cross stitch the jar labels? I could if she designed it to, to, but that would be awesome. But I don't, I don't, if she's watching, maybe she'll see. Any updates for the backing set for Quilted Witch? It's like February, March. So if I were you, I would just buy the 44 inch wide and consider it done. The 108 wide is um, just having some delays. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you some new kits. Some of these are in stock and some have sold out. So this is called do -Si do It features the Spring Garden Collection by My Mind's Eye. It's an It's So Emma pattern finishes at 53 inches square and this uses the five inch square and a square foundation paper and two and a half inch triangles on a roll this was designed by crystal pieced by nova and quilted by joanna marsh and i love this background so it's um it's like little flowers they're real it's really cute So this is called do -Si do The next one I'm gonna show you, we did make some more kits this week. They're probably, once these sell out, they'll probably be gone. This is the layer cake loop pattern that I love so much and have made so many times. And the new linen covered by Fig Tree Collection just came in and it's so, it's, this is considered low volume fabric and I thought it would look so good in this. So this is a free pattern, Layer Cake Loop. You can find that on our YouTube channel, which hopefully you're subscribed to. It's a free pattern you can download at Fat Quarter Shop. It's 48 inches square, designed by Jocelyn, pieced by Brenda in customer service and quilted by Joanna Marsh. And it's kind of like a, um, like a little flowers. 
What would you call that? Flowers. Jordan says flowers. There's a name for this. I can't think of what it is, but really cute. Sprigs. Okay, this is Castle Courtyard, which is an It's So Emma pattern available in paper or PDF. We did sell out of the kits. This is the brand new collection for a cause called Etchings. It's designed by Howard Marcus, who is the owner of Moda Fabrics, and Three Sisters, who is a designer for Moda Fabrics. It's 75 inches square. We do still have the patterns, obviously, but the kits have sold out. This was designed by Jocelyn. Gina Tell of Thread Graffiti pieced this, and she also quilted it for us. Thank you, Gina. Okay, now I'm gonna move into showing you new items. There's a ton of new stuff. So this is the Garden Variety Quilt Kit. It features the Spring Gardens Collection by My Mind's Eye. It's a boxed kit from Riley Blake. It's big, it finishes at 81 inches square. I just wanted to show it to you. We don't have the quilt to show you, but it's really cute and I like the box. This week we received the Bluish Collection by Zen Chic. And so her patterns are 30% off this month. So you could maybe pick up some of those to go with this. So this is more of a modern collection. This is my Valentine by Echo Park for Riley Blake Designs. And this one has a lot, I'm gonna open it because it has a lot of really cool prints. And it's a little bit, um, the fabric is more of a mauve red, which is really nice. But there's some prints in here I wanted to show you. Like those are bouquets, hearts, I love this one. This would be a great backing. More bouquets. I just think these are really cute. Now, I would take these out just because I wouldn't sew with black. And then these are two inch squares. So this would make a really cute backing. Or you could get a yard of this quilt it and it looks like you piece something amazing when all you did was cut the fabric it's like a cheater print so this is my valentine echo park for riley blake fabrics The next collection is called Florence. The designer is Katarina Rochella for our gallery fabrics. And so we have this in a fat quarter bundle, a half yard bundle, and yardage. And it's art gallery fabrics. Florence. And this would be really cool if you um, use it as a border or something. And this has got its little peach on top of white. So that's Florence by Art Gallery. Hoppy Hunting, I will tell you one thing that Kevin and I have noticed is Easter fabric has been really popular. So. There's not very much Easter fabric provided from sales reps. So when they do it, we usually buy it because it sells so well. And that might be why it sells so well because it's hard to get, but there's bunnies, Easter eggs, flowers, really cute. And then this is like a cheater print. These are one and three eighths. This would make a cute uh, pillowcase. This would be a cute binding 
if you kind of, you would have to kind of plan it. This is like a running stripe you could put as a border. And this is again, Hoppy Hunting by Kitten Studio for Henry Glass Fabrics. So we have Hoppy Hunting and Yardage and in Fat Quarter Bundles and this panel. And this panel would make really cute bags or like a little bunting to go um, or a little table runner. So there's eight rabbits per panel. This one's so cute. This is Michael Miller Fabrics. It's called Vintage Valentines and it's very vintagey. So there's text. Vintage Valentine Day cards, chocolates, and then this is the same print in red. Have a heart and be my Valentine. Bill me as your only Valentine. This is really cute. So this is Vintage Valentines by Michael Miller. This is a running stripe. And I would say in this one, the colors are very true to, you know, they're vintage, that's a true red, a true black, a true white. And the panel. You make my heart smile. Oh my goodness, that's so cheesy. That's cute though. But I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't do that for Kevin because then that would be way too nice, sorry. I'm such a smart aleck. Okay, Holiday Charms, I wanted to talk about this group. So we recently met with our Robert Kaufman sales rep and Holiday Charms is something they have done over the years because our sales rep told us that because holiday 2023 sold so well, they're going to re keep this. So that's why it's shipping at the end of the year. They're re um, keeping it in stock for 2024 and they're not changing the color. So if you missed out on this and wanted it, we just ordered it again. So we have had this before and the yardage for this will not come in stock until May but the bundles are available now. It is traditional Christmas colors and a very strong gold metallic. Also from Robert Kaufman is they put together, um, each time they have a bucket, which is when they come see us, it's called, or anytime they release new collections, they have different um, designers put together bundles. So this is called Springtime Essex, and it has a mix of the, um, if you know anything about Essex, there's like EO64, EO14, E da la la la. Some of these are just regular woven, some are yarn dyed woven, some are metallic woven. And so that's what this is, Springtime Essex Fat Quarter Bundle. And it's more of, a, it is a linen, so it's more of a textured fabric. Wilmington Fabrics are known for their beautiful florals. This is called Blessed by Nature by Lisa Audit. This one we have fat quarter bundles and yardage. And please start putting your questions in because we're getting close to the end and you know I love to answer questions. So put as many in. The longer you ask, uh, the Vintage Valentine does not come in a jelly roll. Michael Miller does not make jelly rolls. And I did want to show you this one right here. Uh, in Wilmington, they always do running stripe. Well, not always, but a lot of times. And then this is meant to go on a border. So they are, uh, Wilmington is known for their florals and their running stripes. I'm trying to make everything neat again. I do like the stripe. 
Oh my goodness. I'm going to get it back together the way it was. Look at that. It's not perfect, but it's close. Oh, we'll have to fix it. Okay, also by Wilmington is Zest for Life, Cynthia Coulter. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And this one is like spring. So it could be Eastery. You know, if, you know, you could put it out if you were decorating for Easter or it could just be spring. There's their running stripe. They always have a running stripe. They're also known for the panels. I'll show you the panel. So this one's got a bee and lemon. Have a zest for life. I'm trying to keep everything neat. I did it. I put it back. Ha! Okay, and this panel is a square panel. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. I was going to say it's squares. So it is a, it's for, it's a placemat panel, sorry. So there's four placemats. So basically what you could do is buy a panel, put one of the fabrics on the back, put a binding around it, and basically what you could do if you wanted to make four placemats and you wanted to send it to your long arm quilter, you could just buy a yard of fabric, have them quilt it. When it comes back, you could bind it. Or you could cut these out individually, put them on fabrics, quilt it yourself, and you'd have a wonderful placemat. And what would be great, I would always recommend buy Annie Soft and Stable for placemats because they're nice and thick. The, the, excuse me, the stabilizer is nice and thick and it works really great so that you won't, you know, if you have something hot on your plate, it's not going to burn through like it would with batting. And this is a 23 inch panel. And then this is DC Comics Doodle Collection. I have no idea what doodle means. I have no idea what DC Comics is. This is by Camelot. Now let me tell you about Camelot. Camelot Fabrics is produced and made in Canada. It is more expensive because it comes over the Canadian border, so we pay shipping and duty and all of that. Now, this is a one and done. So when we buy Camelot, we get it one time, we cannot reorder it. So just so you know, anytime you see Camelot, I can never reorder it if you want it. Oh, it says The Flash. I guess that's a character. Wonder Woman, Batgirl, Superman. I'm going to pretend I know what these are. Aquaman, Batman. Batman! Isn't that a song? <laughs> Nobody in here is laughing. I'm not funny. Is that Batman? Who's that? Flash. Let's pretend I know. Okay. That's DC Comics. And this is Denise Schmidt. So she is a designer for Wyndham and she used to do like four or five collections a year and she's really gone down to one or two. So this is called Bonnie, B-O-N-N-Y, Denise Schmidt. This is available in fat quarters, half yards, and yardage. And so I hope they will keep this around for about six months just because she has fewer collections she's releasing. I love the little dots. And the colors and this one is a really big all over um, kind of like double wedding ring double wedding ring ish okay now I'm gonna show you some fun stuff that I've been doing uh, for fun okay so I'm getting back into crochet so for Christmas I made Emma and Christopher quilts for their bed. Last year, I made Will and Peyton Chris quilts for their bed. So I thought, oh, I have so much time on my hands, right? Like I have, I can just whip something up. So I started this for Peyton. Now that gives me like two weeks to make something for Will, but I will get it done. So let me show you what I did. I went online to YouTube and Ashley will put a link to the video. I'm not affiliated with these people in any way, but this is a granny square and it's where you make it and you turn in the corner so that you don't, if you don't do a green, if you do a granny square in the middle, you'll have a seam. So this is a seamless, perfect seamless granny square video by Blossom Crochet. 
and um, I wanted to show you the yarn and how I'm doing this. So when you see this, this is self-striping yarn. So this is what it looks like to start with. And we, I bought all this yarn for the store. So we're going to see how crochet does in the store. And if it does good, we'll add some more. So self-striping yarn is something that started about 10 years ago and they're called cakes. So if you go to Joann's or Michael's or Walmart, they'll be called Karen cakes or Bernat cakes. And they stripe from one color light to dark. So in here, what I did is I always started in the, I started with the light every time. So I, this is one, one skein. And then two skeins, three skeins, four skeins, five skeins, six skeins, seven, I'm on the seventh skein. And so it just, you can see, it just changes wherever it changes is where it changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm using this blue hook from Lori Holt. I picked the blue, I don't know why, I just picked it. And uh, the It's So Emma Stashion stores are great to hold your um, crochet hooks, the small one and you can fit them in either the big piece or the small, they fit in either. So this is awesome because I know all of you already have stash and stores. So I'm using the blue hook for this one. But what I wanted to show you is, this obviously comes out square. What I had to use is these stitch markers so that I know where I start and stop each row. So I, so I wouldn't get lost. So what I'm gonna do is, finish one more row here and then I need to make it rectangular so I'm going to go ahead and go this way with the yarn and then go this way with the yarn and keep stitch markers and it'll be long and skinny and it's just kind of scrappy this I found this yarn at a local store and then loved it so I bought it for the store so this is called Cumulus de Grad by Juniper Farms Juniper Moon Farms. It's 94% cotton, 6% nylon. And so this is called Cedar Balls. Okay, now Denise just said, what is this? Okay, so this, I haven't woven in my ends. So when I stop a color and start a color, I just leave them and I will weave them in later. But if you guys, I don't know if you guys crochet or not, um, but I'm a little expert in crochet. Love me some crochet. And then on the other side, I'm sure there's more of those. And with a Blossom Crochet's tutorial, you, um, you can reverse it. It's not one-sided. Because sometimes if you do a granny square and you don't turn around, it's one-sided. So one thing I would tell you when you're working with this, you could go light to dark and instead of going back light to dark, I could have gone dark to light. So it's really fun because you get a ton of stitching. You don't, you only have to change a couple times. So this is Cedar Bells. And he is about, I don't know, he's going to be about six foot. So I'm going to make this a lot bigger. So I'm going to show you all the colors we have. So this is Cedar Bells green. Scarlet Abyss, and we don't have very much of this, guys, because I just bought it, honestly, selfishly for me. I don't even know if it's going to sell. Senna Sandcastle. Key Lime Pie. This was my second choice for him. He loves green. Mountain Summit. Jasmine Chaka. And then Poppy Meadow. Now there is another color. We must have probably sold out of it, but it's purple and blues. And the only reason I'm, I don't want to make Will and Peyton the same exact thing. So I, my options really are, I could just do a whole quilt. Like you could make this whole quilt. I mean, it's not a quilt, it's a crochet. Just change the ball. You could just go from like the rainbow. Like you could make it like that. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. Obviously don't know how to display crochet. So you could do something like that where it's kind of a rainbow. Anyway, it's fun, it's mindless, and easy. 
Now I'm gonna sh show you what's not easy that I decided to do last week. Cause you know, I have all this time on my hands guys. So I found a video called Mary Mosaic Stocking Crochet Pattern on the lady's name is MJ's Off The Hook Designs channel. I'm not affiliated with her in any way. I don't know her, but I'm using my yellow for this. And I don't have, we don't sell the thread for this. So I just found something similar. And the way you make this is you start at the toe. That's the toe, right? You go up, you leave a hole here and you go up and then you make this and you flip it down. You come back, you add the heel. Now, this has you make pom-poms. So I bought the pom-pom maker. Now, if I, I bought yarn and I have enough to make three. But this is called mosaic crochet, which I knew nothing about. And you have to sit there and like really read the pattern. So I'm deciding if I should make all six, if I should make them all in this brown, because it matches my house. And the only, I really wanted to make it red and white, but at the yarn store, they did not have a good red. So, um, or, you know, a Christmassy red that wasn't too burgundy. A lot of crochet has burgundy in it, but you have to really pay attention when you're doing this. And you can see like, I have a mistake right there and right there. But anyway, we'll see how far I get. I just kind of wanted to show you guys. Um, and it uses two colors. And like, if you look at the back of it, See, you you only make the pretty on one side, if that makes sense. So, just something different to show you guys. I don't just crochet or, I mean, I don't just quilt. I do all the things. Okay, I'm going to answer questions. Can I have the chair pretty please? Because my back hurts and I need some tea. Okay. For the cake mix book, it says two layer cakes per quilt. Is that a print and a solid or two prints plus a background? Can I see the book? Let me see. We have to figure out where we put it. Um, it's probably under the stack of quilts. Oh my gosh. That would be a funny picture. I could take a picture of you and put it on the internet in a pile of quilts. Oh, so usually it's one print, one solid. Do I plan to carry more Wilmington prints, tiny cookie dough, fabric and white? It didn't sell well, so I don't have it on order right now. When does the quilted scarecrow ship? Sometime in the fall, I mean the spring of 2024, not anytime soon. Have, this is a great question. Have you shown your project from all the half square triangle cutoffs from the past year? No. And I actually started messing with those yesterday and I was looking at them and I was laying them out and I was like, you know what? I don't know if I had time. So I'm considering taking both buckets and giving them away <laughs> so that one of you can use them because I haven't figured out what to do with them. But anyway, I laid them out and I just was like, oh, uh, I don't know. So I might be giving those away instead. Unless I come up with a brilliant idea on how to use them. What is the name of this? It's so Emma pattern using solids. Yes, it is called, what is it right there? The Sandpiper. Sandpiper. And it's available at Fat Quarter Shop and print or PDF. Can you starch your fabric that's already been cut into shapes? Anytime you starch, it will shrink your fabric because water will distort it. So what I do is starch my fabric before, let it completely dry so it's already shrunk. You can sometimes starch a pre-cut, but it will shrink. So it depends on the pattern and the design. How do you decide, oh, this is a good question. How do you decide what fabrics to do as Jolly Bars? It's easy, whoever sells the best. Whatever is selling is what we're gonna buy. What do I like to use? Somebody just honked. Like a big 18 wheeler. What do you like to use for batting? Um, I use the major popular one, but wanna try something different. I usually just do 80, 20. 
Will the flower stand be available as a complete kit instead of a block of the month? No, but what happens with those if we sell a block of the month and then somebody's credit card doesn't go through at the end, we'll probably have like four or five left over that we'll kit and sell, but that would be way in the future. I would love to try machine binding. Any recommendations? Yes, on our channel, there is a great video by Vanessa Gertsen from about four or five years ago, and it's just called Machine Binding. Michelle is working on a panel for a baby quilt and is so out of and it is so out of square I'm not sure what to do. It's wonky. Do you know what I should do with it? So with those, um, when you're working with a panel, because it's long and not everything prints straight, it kind of does this. I would take a friction pen and draw around it and just kind of look at it and just try to make it work. I mean, I would say just don't cut it yet. Just kind of see where you can fudge it a little bit. When will 14 inch design boards be back in stock? Okay, so design boards are called one and done. So when Riley Blake shows us, we buy them and whatever we get, we get. So the next round will be coming in December and we usually just buy those one time. So in December, we'll have more out of the mercantile collection or mercantile. Do you need the cake papers? Yes, you do. And I need to order those. Okay, so we're gonna give away three so sampler boxes from November. So what I want you to do is comment and let me know, do you think Fat Quarter Shop should add crochet as like a category to our site or should I just keep crochet for fun? Let me know. Hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you next Friday.